Hello, Tech Tuesday YouTubers. This is Carl Elwine, Elwine Engines. This is the first time I started a video off with narration. We got the time lapse going here. And I'm preparing just to clean up the customer supplied rockers and push rods. They're used, but they're in really good quality. Today's Tech Tuesday topic is measuring for push rod length. Or in other words, I'm going to show you the two tools I use. One is an adjustable push rod. The other is a rocker geometry plastic shape gauge, a simple little tool that you set on the stud. And those two combined, the adjustable push rod and that little gauge, will allow you to get the proper push rod length. See, I've just come back from the parts washer and all the parts are cleaned up. We're going to get ready to begin this Tech Tuesday in just a bit. So right after the break, stick with me and I'm going to show you the details. Oh, hey, spoiler alert. Skip to 750 in this video if you want to see a quick description of what I'm doing today. Really good looking set of, looks like stainless steel. Our, uh, one six ratio non self aligning rockers supplied by the customer. So I'm going to take them to the parts washer and the poly locks. Uh, they all look nice and clean, but but still needs to be you know, verified clean. And then these push rods 7.2 hopefully will fit, but we've got a a set of. Um, link bar lifters in case these fit that'd be good i'm going to wash them up too but after i come back from the parts washer i'm going to do the uh the push rod height technique and i'll show you how i do it there's numerous ways to do it and i'll just show you one of the ways okay back from the parts washer one day i'll show my parts washer but that's outside right now it's in the cold and i don't have a camera set up for it but anyway um, very good quality my nice kind of look like they're polished these Rockers, if anyone knows the brand, uh, I'm sure the customer knows the brand, Daniel Peterson. But they're very nice, nice quality. 1 6 ratio. If uh, generally the push rod length on an LT1 is 6.2, that's stock. And um, you do a new engine build and you have different gasket heights and the block is decked, let's say, and, and so. You might have to use a shorter push rod or a longer push rod, depending on your setup. But it's usually almost always 7.2, or then it, it, if not that, 7.250. If not that, 7.3. And if you get, that's if you have stock style lifters. So you never know. All right, what I'm going to do is use this special made tool. Uh, where did I get this from? Maybe, oh, it's Manly. Okay. It already has the standard small block Chevy rocker geometry. So can you see it well enough? Yeah. Basically, huh, goes, <laughs> this looks more like a rocker, right? <laughs> it doesn't go that way. It goes this way. I'll explain this little plastic. All right, so it's flush here with the valve top. And so you insert the adjustable push rod in here. That will be the push rod length you need. All right, adjustable push rod. Tools. I have a big variety of them. That first one I pulled was a longer one. 
So I got all kinds of, this is a 3 8 here. 5 16 5 16 I'm going to match it to the 7.2 push rod that we already have as a as a default. Okay, should I have the adjuster down low? Ah, or have it up high? It can barely get by. The, the neurals don't get b past the guide. Well, that's a bummer. Let's try this one. It doesn't have neurals. It's not one thing, it's another. Okay. This one. Match it to the 7.2. I think I'll put it in straight up. Taller. All right, gang. We're going to see if I have a 7.5 push rod in my collection here, which I highly doubt. I got a 3.8, quite a bit of 3.8, which is less frequently. 8.5. 8.0, that's when, you, when you're doing mechanical rollers. You usually have to get longer. We're looking for 7.5, 7.2s, 7.2s. Manly, eh, what the heck out. I'm sure it's a 7.2. 7.2, these are all 3.8s, 3.8s, 3.8s. Okay, it's a simple and easy tool to use. Just unflush right on there. Insert your adjustable push rod. Hold it right in there. Yep, that that touches. Also make sure it's on the the crank is on the base circle. Oh, the, the crank, yeah. So make sure the lifter is down on the base. Insert your tool. Insert the adjustable. Tweak it until it touches. And there you have it. All right, gang, this was a short and sweet tech tip and on this Tech Tuesday. And today, you know, in summary, once again, it was determining push rod length. If you got a stock motor and you're kind of rebuilding mostly stock, it's probably going to be stock push rod length, LT1 7.200. Run with that. If it's close, uh, no need to get another push rod. What I use is a simple tool, the Manly 42132, and an adjustable push rod. So that's gonna cost money. I'll have links to all of these at my website and in the video description. So adjustable push rod goes in. The lifters on the base of the cam. You slide the, this tool over the stud. Make it flat there. Adjust it till it touches the back here. Measure the length, order them, you're done. So, hope you enjoyed this quick and simple Tech Tuesday. Take care. All right, gang, hope you enjoyed this simple and quick Tech Tuesday push rod length.